going to show you a little video clip and then I'm going to show you how to make it okay here's the start uh, it's a uh, interior of a train and you can see the uh, how it says you're going past it obviously you've got the three windows the main window there which doesn't open and the two other windows which do the ones opened already as you can see but you can close it's closed and opened right that was uh, the actual clip and I'm going to show you how to do that because there's a lot of people who have asked me how to do it and they're amazed by it so what I'll do is I'm going to start off by going on to my designer program or image program as I could call it and I'm starting a new document at A4 and landscape and I'll create that now I'm going to get a rectangle tool and I'm going to make a rectangle across there like that that's that right and then I'm going to do a colour which is a very plummy colour there do it very light and I'm going to add another rectangle a bit lower down at the moment while I'm checking the colour for it because I want it darker like that now I'm going to take it up and put it right at the top if I can around somewhere in the middle ish and like there ish right and then I'm going to get another tool which is a circular tool or ellipse tool and I'm going to make a lampshade with it so to take off more than half like that maybe bring it back a little bit touch like that. right now that should be okay I'm going to uh, change that to make that a little bit darker than the other right so it's on there so you can tell yeah that's better oh it needs to go across a bit more there that's it right now I'm going to put another circle here a circle bit in and I'm going to make it into a yellow one so it looks like the light being on and then I'm going to squish that up a bit so obviously you won't need it that wide anyway because uh, you need to see it there you go and then I'm going to click on the shade and go arrange move to front and there you go and that shows the light I might need to bring that out just a bit that's it do that that's all right okay now I'm going to do some more rectangles over this side doesn't matter about the colour not at the moment anyway I've got to change them anyway in a minute so just want to get them near enough dead on the edge and then I'm going to just copy that and paste it and take it out of the other side I need one on the other side as well right and then I'm going to add one to the lower part of this yeah to do what I'm doing there is basically the base colors for the actual carriage itself so any background like the floor the walls and things like that yeah so that's basically the the base of everything to be honest so but what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the bottom one I don't want them that color I want them in purple but a bit darker purple than we've got there right but maybe a bit more oh that might be too garish handrail 
Okay, so that's the handrail that you have above the what's it. Um, I'm going to put on the next piece, which is a message from what's it to anybody who decides to be smart and press the buzzers. You know, the alarm buzzer thing. Right, so it's uh, emergency use only. Right, so we've got to put that on. Hang on a sec, I'm just going to type that in. Right, that's what I put in it, something like that anyway. And I just want to change the colour of that to red and make it a bit more bolder. to move that one I'm going to reduce it like that and I'll put it up there on that side and then I'm going to copy that and paste that to the other side so like that right Okay, right. Um, sorry, I had to do something there. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the big uh, rounded rectangle tool. I'm going to do a big rectangle here, like that. I might just move it across, like that, just to give it about there ish. Now I want to try and make it more or less in the middle like that I'm going to put that up a bit now that's going to be a window but I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this first I'm going to click on the rounded, ring, rounded rectangle tool and this red dot comes up you can see here right what that does is that helps me to change the how rounded it is so you could have it going back to square Predominantly going back to square, I want a bit of a roundness on it, but I'm going to also uh, make that wider a little bit as well. So, to do that, I need to change the stroke to a bit bigger like this, and you'll see thickening a bit there. That's as much as I want, right? Now, the color to change the color, click on that one, that's the one for the color that's the ins inside. That, that ring there that's for the outside which is the, the, the line and that white bit there is the solidness of that so you can change it according to what it is like I'm going to change it to oh that could be a nice colour but that's going to be semi transparent so I'll do, I'll do it like that and then I'm going to change it down to 70 so you'll be able to see through on the opacity that's the opacity you can take it all the way down to nothing and it'd be just like there ain't one there or you do it like this and then you've got a window in but you can see through it as well so that's what i do right now i've done that one and i'm going to click on it to make sure i've got it and then i'm going to copy paste right now I'm going to drag the one side over so I'll 
the, the pasted one and it's just above half the size of the other one and then I'll put it over here and then I'm going to copy and paste that one I don't want to do a, an, another one like that then I'm going to paste it two more times one two the reason being is because I need two on this side and two on the other side and the two on this side I'm going to have this one is going to be without any solidness in, inside at all that's going to be completely opaque so I'm going to do not like that actually that's 17 on there wasn't it what I want to do is just get rid of that by doing this there's a solid part I'm going to in the middle and I'm just going to do that and it gets rid of it look see it's completely gone right so what you need to do then is you need to make sure that that's going underneath there not not on top so let's just make sure that's yeah that's okay the other one's on top oops i moved the wrong thing again keep doing that all the while oh dear what have i done now i don't want to do that right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go like that put it back there so it looks like only like one but when you open it there'll still be a frame up right and on this side i'm going to sign with this one and i'm going to just go pop and that goes gets rid of that and i need to check that that one's on top and go to the front and then i just put that one back in like that right now i've done that what i've got to do is just get the rectangles for that area there so i can cover that we'll just do this a minute like this don't worry about that doesn't matter how it looks at the minute because i am going to change all that and it's easy to do so not a problem right just do there then i can bring this up that way like that now what i'm going to do is do that and this is called the color picker tool you can choose the color there and you can fill that in now what i also need to do is get rid of the line so i'll do that get rid of that line and now let's fill that in for me all i need to do is just make sure it's up to the top there that's, that's it right now i just need to uh, click on that and copy and then go and paste it and take it over there to the other part there then now it's there I've got to click on this and re put it at the front because the mother parts covered it didn't they right so that's that now that means all that is ready for the next part all I need to do now is put in, put in my um, seating and the um, table so what I'll do is I'll put the seating in first so is the seating start of the seating I'm gonna put there like that I'm gonna change that colour to red I think that's the outside I should have done the inside red red uh, oh no I can't can I do I do it green do it green yeah that's it and do the outside black but it's gonna be lightly black so black right and I'm gonna change the stroke to very little like that right actually I want to change that back to white just thought I've got to do I want to put the uh, thing in there so that'll be all right change that to white Um, I want to put a um, fabric on them so I'll just leave them as white now I'm going to copy and paste that for the other side so I'm going to take it over like that I'm going to make sure it's about one and a half up there like, and that's going to be one and a half up there like that right so it's going to be on that line basically that line there right now I need to do the actual seat itself and I'm going to make that about like that, something like that. 
right I'm just going to bring it up towards the end there but, uh, that's it there I'll be fine copy paste right and I'm going to go over there like that just to put it in there so it matches up with the other side basically yeah okay so that's them now I want to do the feet which I'm going to do down here uh, one two I'm just going to click on that bring it down there I need to put that a bit closer in on that side as well that's alright just that moment I've just did someone else there by accident yes I have I put that back up there a little bit more that'll be fine and I click this and adjust it slightly that's it now it's not let's move it this way a little touch that's it now I need a circle circle on the top if I can get it, get it to at the right place I want it to be. Right now I'm going to get that and put that on there. Then I just want to get it on the square. Or rectangle I should say really. Put that on top of there. Ish. I want that circle on the top so I'll arrange move forward, whoops, I've done that, how many times I've done that, right, want this circle, arrange that on top, right, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to grab, oops, I've done it again, messing with that, it keeps catching things that I want it to have, so, I'll have to excuse me a bit for being a bit of a useless, uh, it happens sometimes that does can't do it, anything about it right put that under there and I'm going to group it and paste it and then, oh don't want to paste it I've got another one of them now silly so I've done the wrong thing then delete that right I need to get this Bring that down and touch. Oh, I didn't mean to stretch it. Oh, there as it is, I think. Right, copy, paste, and bring it over there. Paste, and take it over there, and paste again. Oops, I don't want to do that. I've accidentally transformed it. I don't want to do that. Just want to take it over there and put it about there. Right, now I've done that. What I want to do is each one I want to select them and try and copy them. Change the colour to something like this. It ain't going to work. I've got to do them separately, I think. Yeah, I've got to de ungroup them. And go one, two, three, four. That's a bit of a mess, it's out of it. No, I don't want to copy that one down, look right. That's better, I like that one better. Right, so stop there a sec what I'll do is I'll get all them delete them ones because I don't, I don't need to do them again delete them and I'm going to use this one copy this one paste that one as it is copy paste sorry about this 
I've changed my mind, day Ireland. <laughs> Alright, so paste again. That's it. It's looks looking good actually that one. Alright then. And paste again. Get that one over there. And then look pretty good. Oh, they're uh, twisted. So that's pretty good a lot. Of, they were either twisted like the old way they used to have, uh, the wooden things, but these are metal supposed to be. Right, so that's that. Now I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the actual um, seating part and I'm gonna try and install them using fabric. If I can find the fabrics. There's the fabrics. Oh the fabrics are there. Let's have a look, see what we got. We we'll try that one, that one's a bit garish in it. No, that's too light. That's too dark, we've already used that one before. That's too much. That's alright. Looks nice, I like that one. I'll do that one, I think. I can do it on that side because it goes real well with the seat, with the uh, staller there. So we'll do that. And we could use a. Uh, we'll get a table out now. Do a table. Whoops. I don't do that right. What the hell's happening in there? Two thing, two or three things come up then. Don't mean to do that. So just get rid of that. Delete that. Delete that. Right. Sorry about that. So the table's going to be about there. Might be a bit higher. Maybe I can put the table. Up above the, what's it like that, so you can see it, you can see a bit of the window there, or something, that might be a good idea, wouldn't it, just do that and put that there, be different, have a higher table, now I'm going to use one of these again, so I'm going to paste again, do that, and make that a big one, right, big table, so like that, yeah, there's going to be a big one there, and then go up and stretch it a bit and that's going to be take all that take that arrange move to front arrange move to front that one Move to front, then right. Move that to front. Right, so that's that's way that out all right. All I need to do is change that to an actual wooden top. So what I want to do is go to the wood, which is knock on wood style. Them are the best ones. And do this one or this one. See, there's any lighter colours that one. Oh yeah that one's nice that would go well with that I think that would be the best one wouldn't it am I a bit out on the central part there I think I am and I slightly out I need to go this way a little bit I think right that's how it's going to look right so we've got that nice picture of uh, a different kind of um, carriage there so what we're going to add now we only need to add the forest fire thing and a couple of things there for um, pulling down the uh, windows so I'm going to do the fire thing first so we'll do red circle on the outside and already selected a circular till there so I'll just do that and then I'm going to add the stroke size to make it bigger for a minute while I'm setting it up right so it's going to be smaller so it's going to be about that big so that then I need to just adjust that accordingly you want to line through it as well so I don't know which way the line goes now I forgot to do a line anyway, don't matter. Right, and that's got to be red as well, so just 
of red light like that and I'm going to take that up and put it that way I think I think it's that way and up there like that and that needs to go in from there and you do it down a bit like how's that look just needs to go up a bit with a up snow like that I mean in a bit like that, that's better now I'm just going to need to get a, a cigarette a picture of a cigarette now or something like that so I do a draw in a one so we just get slight line on the, there and white in the middle slight line on there then click it on the middle and white there right and then we need shorten it a bit because I want to do click on it copy paste it whoops where's that from now I need that Where's it gone? I've lost it. There's one. Put that there. And there's the other. Paste. Right. Paste it. Oh, there's the other one. Look. Why's that gone up there? Edit. Delete. I need to do that. Click on that bit. Bring that down. Oh, I've got two or three of them, why is that coming up like that? I need to add that to the end of there and change it to a different colour. Right, like that. And edit, delete that. And edit, delete that. Edit, delete that. That's it, right now. need to take that down a bit as well. trying to get a cigarette now I'm going to move it slightly in move it down a bit right then I'm going to do click on that click on that um, change that to brown there you go and then we're going to change the stroke size to 1 and the stroke size on that to 1 like that, that's better looks more like a cigarette doesn't it now uh, we're going to take it down a bit more because it's way too high I can it's going to let me the bloody thing there that's it Right now I need to swing it round a little touch as well. Duh, I wanted to swing both round. And let me do that. Oh, right, let's go back. Oh God. Uh, you get these problems sometimes uh, when something will connect and something else won't. There you go, now I'm going to move it up, like that, and then we're going to put move that to forward, move it to the front, so there you go, and all I need to do now is get a little bit of smoke on there, which is going to be not easy, but I'm going to do colour grey. see how that looks let's see how that looks does that look like smoke yeah maybe I suppose um, looks alright I suppose 
could be worse. It could be better as well. Or day. That's that. Okay. That's the smoking sign. Maybe. Just need to uh, go. I think I'm going to have to go in and do that one better than that because that don't look good enough to me. So I'll put that up there. Just make it smaller again. Right, I'm just going to do that there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use view and zoom zoom into it because I don't like the look of it. So I'm going to do that. Go up there. Right up to it. Yeah, don't like the, don't like the uh, the smoke doesn't look right. So I'm just going to move it about a bit. Hopefully I can do something with it. That's too high up anyway. So do that. Do that. That's it. Now that's a bit, getting a bit better. Might be a bit better. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. I think that'll do it. Yeah, that's better. Now what I need to do as well is I need to get some red on it. Spots of red on. There. Like that. Do red on. too big. Let's knock it down a bit to about there and do that. Like that. Just do a bit more here like that. That's it. I'm gonna make this just change the colour a little bit. A bit redder, darker red there. Do a bit of here and there. Like that. That'll be okay. Right, so I'm happy with that now. So I'll go back to the actual size. And yet yeah, that looks brilliant. It's pretty good. I'm happy with that now. Right. Um, now what I need to do is just put no smoking now do they have it in red or is it in black usually it's really black in it I think or just to put change the colour of that to black I'll change the colour of that to black in it if I can Allows me. Wait a minute, I should go back over that way. Can't do it, can't seem to get the last bit. It's into black. Okay, now go to there. Now it's in black as well. No, it ain't going to look bad. I said do it now. Is that black? Yes, it's back. Right, so I see. Right, now smoking. Right, so we've got that. Now all we need is the um, the handles on the windows, and then we then we're okay then. Right, so what I do is if you get to this tool here, that's trape trapezoid tool, and I'm going to use that to make the handles by just doing the trapezoid. I'm going to do it the same as these colours if I can. Which was, um, is it one here? That was one the ice metals. No, well, that one was it. It was a bit ice metals too, I think. Where is it? I'm looking for it now. Um, let's have a look. I can't see it. Ice metals too. There, there it is. That ain't it. No, it wasn't that one either. It was supposed to be the other ones. There's some old metal somewhere, I think. Metal soils, that's it. There's that one, I think. I think they're metal, yeah. Right, so, just do that. Put that up there. It was on the top there, like that. Let's have a look, see how that looks. Yeah, that looks about right. I'm going to 
copy that paste that do it out oops why is it suddenly affected that instead oh damn I haven't copied that now Co copy that paste that and drag it over there onto there and that is your finished article so far of the um, interior of the uh, train the, the, the carriage the train carriage right so what I'm going to do now is I've got that one is I'm going to save that one and export it so I'll save it first as train carriage free Right, that's that's the actual pr project file for the act this actual program, this uh, Affinity uh, um, designer. Uh, now I'm going to select all of the stuff on here in order to export it as a PNG file. So don't wanna, uh, I'm going to do a selection without background and export. So that's what I do usually anyway I do that and that's um, scene one of that so I need to change that to S C E N E one on the end of that so that I can do the other scenes in a minute which won't be long so that's try and carriage three scene one now the next bit is one and change the colour in it oh that's why right now next what I'm going to do is I'm going to change part of this which is I'm going to click on that now I need to find the windows which are down here somewhere and I want the windows with the actual window in them so I need to hold the control key and click on the one that's with it now that's the wrong one and click on what I've just done is I've selected the handle with the window with the actual window part in it so now I'm going to push that down to halfway so it looks as if the window has been opened halfway yeah so I've done that and now I'm going to save that as my scene too because tomorrow I've just opened the right hand side window right so I'm going to do that now I need to uh, select it all first don't I select all export as selection without background because I don't want the white patch there I want that to be the background right so I need to click on that and then change that scene to scene 2 like that right ok now what I'm going to do is do the same with this side so I'll have scene 3 but I'm going to have both the windows open because it's easy to do it that way right then just swap them over I'm going to do that one first and then I'm going to put, pull the other one shut after it makes better sense to me so I'm going to do that and pull that one to around the same area as that one is like that ok so now we're going to select all again and then we're going to hold that one beyond there it's got to come forward and got let's put that forward arrange move forward that's better now we're going to it's a good job I've seen that if I hadn't seen that I wouldn't have noticed the problem Right, so I've selected that now and I'm going to export that as selection without background because we want both the white parts to be seen as the background, not white. Right, now whatever the background will be, 
you'll be able to see it through there because we don't want the background on it right you'll see what I mean when I uh, show, when I show you later right so I've done that done that done that now the only one I ain't done is this one going back up so I need to click on that one and click on that one as well so hang on I need to it's control key to do that one as well right and then I'm just going to put that one back up where it was originally and then we're going to select all again and export it right export all that to our desktop background that we want the yeah, section with that background so that'll be instead of being what it'll be whatever the background is that we put on right so this will give me scene 4 that's just in case I'm not doing them all because I want to do them all or because I necessarily need them but just in case I change mine and want to do more you're best off getting them all ready just in case okay so that is the first part of this project uh, doing the carriage for the um, scenery right um, the next part will be doing the background which is panning so I hope you like this tutorial so far and I please hope you could um, subscribe to my channel and um, like all the videos that you do like on my channel as well so uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you for the next unit of this um, tutorial. Thank you.